Hi, Sean with Motor Skivies here. Talk to you a little bit about the differences of the designs in our Comfort Base Short. In creating the Moto Skivvy Short, I knew that we couldn't just have one design that's going to work for all the differences in how you sit and ride on a motorcycle. So in working with the TMF Research Facility out of Italy, we determined that there are three different riding positions. We refer to them as the Cruiser, the Adventure, and the Sport. Let's look at the base garment itself before we get into the different positions. The base garment for the Moto Skivvy Short is not just an off-the-shelf garment. This was designed specifically for the needs of the motorcyclist. You'll notice that we actually use two fabrics. First off, this is not a compression garment. It's designed you can put it on in the morning, wear it all day long, and it's not going to be tight and compressive and uncomfortable. So even though it's designed to stay in place, it should not be tight. We also have a mesh fabric in the areas of the torso that are going to get the most perspiration, the most moisture buildup. This is designed to maximize the breathability in those hot, sweaty areas. The front of the short is actually articulated. You'll notice it's got a sort of a shaped front that's going to hold you in place without compressing you. Again, it's designed specifically for the needs of the motorcyclist. The construction, every one of our seams is a four needle, six thread flat stitch. It is the most durable way to sew two fabrics together. Let's look at the difference in our designs. Cruiser Adventure Sport. The cruiser's designed for a rider that sits on a motorcycle in a stationary position. Their head is positioned above their pelvis. They're very stationary and their knee is pretty much horizontal to their hip bone. In this riding position, almost all of the weight and pressure is focused over the ischial tuberosity or the sit bones. Also, we've designed it for a rider that's very stationary when they're riding. They're not shifting their position. They're not moving around all over the motorcycle. So if you look at this pad design, you'll notice we have areas of padding. It's a little bit firmer on this design than the other two because, again, you're stationary. Focus primarily into those ischial tuberosity or sit bones. We also have a section that's focused under the tailbone. A lot of times in those motorcycles, the seat is shaped sort of like a saddle. It scoops up in the back. Also, a lot of times people will kind of lean back and riding that sort of relaxed cruiser style, and that can put some pressure on the tailbone or the coccyx. The cruiser is the only style that offers a little additional padding in that area. Okay, let's transfer over to the adventure style. How are these different? The adventure is designed, again, for a rider that's pretty much vertical. Their head is positioned over their pelvis. It's putting a lot of weight into that ischial tuberosity sit bones. But now their knee, instead of being horizontal on the seat, it actually drops down over the seat. When your knee drops below your hip as you're sitting on a motorcycle, that transfers a lot of that weight and pressure to your inner thigh and upper groin. So if you look at this pad, also designed for a motorcycle that might be shifting their weight. You're moving forward. If you're riding off-road especially, you're moving forward, you're sliding backwards, you're standing up, you're sitting down. The padding under the seating area is a much broader area to allow for that repositioning. You'll see in the leg extensions here on the pad that it actually extends down into the inner thigh, upper groin to accommodate and provide a little bit of comfort where that leg extends over the seat. Last one is called the Sport. The Sport is designed for a rider who's not really vertical. This is now for the rider that's leaning forward. As you lean forward, it transfers a lot of that weight and pressure that would be focused over your pelvis into your wrists and forearms. However, in the seating area, most of that pressure is going to be focused in the inner thigh and the upper groin. So if you look at this design, if you can kind of see the difference here, we've got a little bit of padding still to cushion those sit bones, but the majority of that padding extends down into the inner thigh, upper groin. So again, upright, very stationary, upright, leg goes down, or a forward lean. A lot of times people will ask me though, here is my specific area of concern. So even though we had very specific design parameters, there's variations. Different anatomies, different inseams, people will always ride on motorcycles differently. So if you were to tell me that your primary area of irritation is right under those sit bones, which is very, very common, that's your biggest area of concern, then I would direct you to our cruiser style, regardless of the style of motorcycle that you ride. If you're a rider and you've got multiple motorcycles, you want something that's kind of universal for everything, then I would direct you to our, our adventure style. Again, broad area of padding under the seating area, extending into the inner thigh. A lot of riders will tell me, especially people with a little bit shorter inseam, because their leg goes over the side of the seat in a little harsher angle. If it's that inner thigh, upper groin area that you have your main area of irritation, 
Again, regardless of the motorcycle you're riding, I would direct you to our sport style. So that's it. A little bit of the differences of the Moto Skivvy styles. Moto Skivvy's redefining your riding comfort.